feel like it's time. I worked several years for someone else at their print shop and I've procrastinated long enough and I think it's time. It's time for me to start my own print shop. You know, I learned a lot in my years as an engraver. What I loved the most was being a part of a lot of people's special moments, particularly working with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, who would often come in and order a beautiful plaque for a sheriff that was retiring. The idea of having the plaque that I made hanging on someone's wall, that every time they pass by, they look at it with pride because of the work that they did is very rewarding to me. In this print shop, I worked with a laser engraver by a company called Universal Laser Systems. And at the time, I didn't realize all of the wonderful things that you could do with a laser engraver. Engraving plaques, crystal awards, name tags, name plates for trophies, and literally just a few other things. Ever since I left that shop, I always wanted to get my hands on one of those engravers, but they were just too much. They're about $2,000. But recently I came across some videos on TikTok of these fiber laser engravers, right? And those are pretty expensive too, which led me to the X2 D1 engraver, which then led me to a rabbit hole of other people on YouTube and TikTok who are doing amazing things with this machine. And I thought to myself, I really need to get my hands on one of these machines. And then I thought, okay, you know what? Now it's doable. It's possible. I can get my hands on one of these machines. I can start my own laser engraving business and really take my career, not just as a designer, but as a creator to the next level. But you know, there's still something that's pulling me back. I'm anxious. I'm really anxious to get this started because I've never done anything like this before in my life. However, another part of me is saying, yes, you can do this. The shop owner would trust me enough to leave on vacation and leave the shop in my hands and it worked out just fine. So why not? One of the things that's making me anxious is that I know that there's gonna be a learning curve when it comes to the laser engraver itself and acquiring clients. But when I really stop and think about it, I know that I got this. I don't know why I always doubt myself. My grandfather taught me the very basic chords on the guitar and I taught myself how to play a lot of songs. My friend taught me the basics of Photoshop and I taught myself the rest. I learned how to edit videos on my own. I learned Illustrator on my own. The owner of that print shop taught me the very basics of that laser engraver. And then I started getting creative and I taught myself a lot of things and I discovered a lot of things on my own. So I know it's not gonna be that bad. So I've never actually owned a print shop for myself. But there was a time where I had never worked at a print shop before and I figured it out, right? So when I think back at the time that I was working there and all of the problems that we ran into as printers and engravers, it all came down to this one thing, problem solving. I was a problem solver. When someone would come in and say, hey, I, I need a plaque, but I just don't know what to say. It's for my boss, he's gonna retire. I would have to solve that problem. I was the one that figured out what to incorporate in the plaque and what it was gonna say. So I needed to figure out how it was gonna be mounted and what it was gonna look like and what material to use and all that, right? So this is no different. I really just need to make a list of the machines I need and the materials I'm going to need and which products I'm going to be selling and go from there. I'm pretty sure that the first items I make are gonna be nothing but gifts. So I'm gonna find some gifts that are blank, that are engravable, and personalize them and engrave them and then give them out to my friends and family. I make leather handcrafted wallets, so I'll make a few wallets and then engrave them, personalize them for my friends and family and give it to them in hopes that they will love it so much that they'll tell everyone about it and soon their friends will be ordering wallets from me. I believe in myself. I believe I got this. This is gonna be great. I'm so excited because finally today I took a leap and I ordered the X Tool D1, but there's a problem. I need to clear this up so that I can get some work done. So let's take a little trip to Home Depot, shall we? All right, so the garage is still a mess, right? But at least it's getting a little bit more organized. So quick story, when I was a kid, my mom told me that if I wanted to be strong like Popeye, I had to drink the same juice that Popeye drank. And that's when she introduced me to V8. Don't worry, this video or this channel is not sponsored by V8, but if you're looking to sponsor someone V8, hook me up. 
Um, this is a V8, 100% vegetable juice, and I've been drinking it since I was like four years old, five years old, something like that. I don't know if it makes me strong like Popeye, but it gave me some kind of energy today, and I don't know, maybe it has made me a little bit more muscular. Hello. Two and a half servings of vegetables, supposedly, in less than 10 seconds. I got so excited after clearing out that table that I realized that I didn't even post what this place looked like before I started making a mess again. And I'm excited to announce that I have now registered Cali Sun and it's now an official business in Riverside County. I've built the D1. I spent the first two days running a lot of tests. I've had several successful completed projects and I've also run into a couple of problems which I'm looking forward to solve with you. This is a really challenging time of my life so I appreciate all the encouragement in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next adventure. Peace.